Hey there, Tamers. Welcome back. You're with Pewter City Gym. I'm going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth today. How y'all doing? I hope you had a fantastic couple days. So, uh, in the last episode, our poor friend uh, Ryuta, Ryota, he got uh, beat up and his account kind of destroyed because we're trying to track down our school friend Sakura, uh, who has been lulled into... Um, some kind of hypnotic trance which caused her to run away from home due to Jimikin, our least favorite rock star. Ooh, wow. That was good. Um, got a security, high security on so that we don't have too many random battles on our way back. I guess I could just use an export gate. I think we have a, a whole new URL to go to, and we're going to go fight Jimmy Ken. But it might be worthwhile to uh, to go and heal first, and see if we can do any Digivolutions. Oh, memory up. Nice, 65, let's go. Now, I think we have one uh, one or two different ones that we can do that are pretty good. Here we go. Go to the Digilab. Digivolve and D-Digivolve. Okay, so. Uh, let's see, Dratini. And your woman, we can do. Victini, we do have a Digivolution that is possible. Um, and it's going to be this guy. Let's go. DNA Digivolve, baby. The Fusion Ha of Digimon. Look at this. Look at this absolute monster. Such a bizarre creature, but I love it so much. Uh, we've exceeded party memory. Uh, let's see. I know. Digivolve, can we? Let's see. Is that Triceramon? I think. I think it's this guy that we want to do. Yes! So we got. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. We've exceeded party memory. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, let's go ahead and we'll move Dino off the party for now. Put it in Farm Island. And that brings us down to the 62 out of 65. Okay. So, we actually have a couple different things that we can do here. Um, I, think, I think this is the one we want. Rosemond? Yep, there we go. And then this Digimon also has a, uh, a further... Oh, man, really? We're over by one. Um, well... Digivolve, D-Digivolve. We'll go ahead and bring Purloin back down to... We don't have an Impmon um, in, our, in our roster yet, so we'll do that. Okay. I think that works. 63 out of 65. Leave the Digilab. Organize the Digimans. Okay, let's see. 65 cam. 100% cam. 100% cam. So, let's go ahead and we'll put... Um, actually, we'll do, we'll do it like that. No, that's a terrible idea. It's only level one. 37 for now. And if we need a data type Digimon, hopefully it goes up a couple levels. I don't think we will. I think we're going to be fighting Jimmykin next, and he's going to be virus types for the most part. We can go to the Demon's Den. Had a fantastic couple days. So, um, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I completely, uh, it was game over. It was game over. I fought Jimikin. He kind of faked me out, and uh, and I lost. 
it was it was honestly it was terrible um in fact uh i'm not i'm not even going to show you that that battle we're just starting from uh, from scratch right here so uh this is the team that i have right now and i'll tell you how he managed to fake me out um boop, organize let's go ahead and put yeah i think that's that's going to be the team that we go into battle so the issue is that normally Jimmy Ken uses virus type Digimon. This time he came at me with three data type Digimon, and I was completely unprepared. I had all my vaccine guys. Um, man, it, it was awful. So, we're gonna go ahead and, and try and take on the demons. In fact, Ephemeral Hummingbird, you touch my heart. Oh, there's Sakura. There's Nokia. Yeah, see, the songs themselves aren't so bad. What the? What's wrong with me? Whoa, I might have just taken a trip to the dark side. What's that? You know where Sakura is? Okay, I'm coming. Sakura, we're here to save you. Oi, oi, oi! Who are you? What do you want? Butting in on my evil pilgrimage. That takes some guts. You could even say it rocks. Ah, it's you, the girl from earlier. The one who is harping all over me because of Digimon, you right little harpy. All right, little what now? Do you understand this guy, Jim? Harping harpy. Gah, wait, what? That was the whole joke? Bad pun alert. Super bad pun alert. But what's going on? Is that a TV camera? Wait, are we... We're smack dab in the middle of an airwave jacking? Wait a minute, does this mean my face is now in living rooms across the nation? Oh, I'm not ready. A mysterious beauty needs time if she's to be talked about the next day. You fool. The camera only faces me. My incredible talent alone is what shines through. But this music video is playing all over town. I'm talking live. It don't mean nothing unless it's live. These wicked fans of mine, possessed by the power of the video, have come here to listen. And now, a great crowd of my wicked fans will come and listen to me rock out. What are you talking about? The kids who are here are here because of the salmonella messages in your music video. What? The what messages? Wait, you mean the subliminal messages? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's it. Agumon, Gabumon, smash that camera. Ah, no freaking way! You smashing my camera? We got that thing special from you know who. It's a very special sweet memory. You know who said my songs needed to be heard by more and more people. You know who said I needed to become way more popular. You really shouldn't be broadcasting your washed up glam rocker face into living rooms anymore. OMG, who are you calling washed up? Wait, I get it. You're totally ripping off that one band. They were American, I think. Or maybe British. It was something like Kicks or Lips or whatever. Or Galarian Obstagoon. I ain't ripping off nobody, no how. I will not. No, I cannot let that slide. This time there'll be absolutely no mercy. Agamon and Gabumon, are you ready? This time we're gonna save a friend. What? But earlier you said... Now's my chance. All right, so yeah, he completely shredded me last time. All right, Death Parade Blaster. Check out Peladramon. Boom. Can you feel it? All right, so... Probably just going to go ahead and attack this guy in the middle, because he's the, the bigger attacker. Actually, might want to swamp out. I mean, he does a decent amount of damage, even though he's at a type disadvantage. But that also happens. And then, even though we have Agumon and Gabumon with us, their attacks don't do a huge amount of damage, because they are at a type disadvantage. So, let's go ahead and move Coulson out. We'll swap him for, uh, for Houndour. So we got two uh, two type advantages on the field.
lightning paw. Oh, he's beefing up all of his guys. One thing I will say, though, is that... Oh, we got a little team up. Oh, that's kind of cute. Uh, Gabumon and uh, Garurumon working together. Ooh. I'll take it. Slap. Maybe I over-leveled. <laughs> By uh, by comparison, I was just like, oh man, I don't want to, I don't want to get knocked out again. So let's go ahead and you know make sure that we are we're doing a good job. But yeah, I went and power leveled these guys, and oh no, ooh, this poor guy, he's gonna get weld on. All right, this is going so much better than the first time. All right, and where Garurumon, our hound hour, is going to finish it up. Okay. Excellent. This is what real friends are like, Nokia. Dang it. Why does it have to end like this for me? I just wanted to bring my simple, pure rock and roll to as big an audience as possible. And I finally get help from you know who. I don't know how I'm going to tell. You keep saying you know who. Who the heck are you talking about? You know who is you know who, duh. Little Miss Rie. Oh, Rie, come, uh, I forget her last name. Miss Rie? You know her, Jim? Yes, we do. That's enough. Oh, it's you guys. Jimmy, look at you. You're pathetic. I was against using phonies like you from the very start. Ha. Oh. <clears throat> Rock and roll. You're what we'd call a filthy pig down on the farm. Hey you, what are you doing? I was the one that was gonna bombard him with questions. You stay out of this, you frumpy little haglet. Oh my gosh. What? Frumpy? Me? You, you jerk face, I'm so not frumpy. You're the frumpy one calling me frumpy. So there, and what do you mean by stay out? How are you involved with all this? Not only are you frumpy, you're too nosy for your own good. Shut your full mouth before I shut it for y'all. Ooh, okay. Speed charge field. Oh, it's it's just Nokia's fighting. Or do I? F oh no, I control it. Okay. Well, burst flame. Let's see. Miss. Ah, uh, we have to lose this battle, don't we? It's one of those. Zero. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I guess we'll play this out. Oof. Yeah, okay. So we didn't have to watch them get completely mortalized. No way, she's too strong. I'm no match for her. Agumon, Gabumon, I'm so sorry. Faith, give it a rest for now. <laughs> As if, if this is the best she can do, I can whoop her. I said to knock it off. Or do you mean to defy me as well? Gosh, I'd never. I couldn't possibly. I would never betray you. Shucks, don't say it. 
This incident was an oversight on my part. I apologize. He just wanted to attract greater crowds, which is why he hijacked the airwaves. Someone at Kamishiro prompted it, though. Kamishiro? Then that means that Jimmy Ken is nothing more than a Kamishiro pawn. Undoubtedly, it was Rie Kishibe, there you go, Kishibe, who put the idea in his head and the hijacking program in his hands. Then if Jimmy Ken testifies to that fact, no good. Everything he's done has been of his own free will. He has been as skillfully manipulated as the girls he controls with his post-hypnotic suggestions. But Yugo, how come you know about this place? Didn't I tell you, you frumpy little thing? Stay out of this. I'll set coordinates for the location where girls are gathering in the real world to your terminal. Sorry to make you clean up this mess, but thank you. Let's go, Faye. Hang on just a gosh darn minute. You're lucky I have a thing for weak and frumpy things. It kind of makes me want to punch a wall, though. Next time I won't go so easy on y'all. Isn't she nice? What's up with her? We've got Yugo and Kamishiro and this and that, and it's all just so stupid complicated. Oh, that's right, we came to save everyone who was on Jimmy Ken's evil pilgrimage. Sakura, all you girls suffering from the Pomeranian effect, are you okay? I don't know where she got that from. First of all, let's head back to the agency. I see. Then you were able to safely rescue all those who had been subliminally brainwashed? Yeah, but they're all in the hospital now. Nothing to worry about. There are specialists who can break post-hypnotic suggestions. More importantly, how are you doing? I heard the hackers did some nasty things to you. I'm perfectly fine. I just want to... I'm going to go look on on Sakura. I'm really worried about her. He's such a good boy. Ah, the passions of youth. Well then, mind if I ask about the highlights of the case? Hmm, if I were to summarize the police report, it would probably read like this. The demons and Kamashiro conspired together. But assuming Kamashiro is behind this string of cases, just what exactly are they after? We're missing something, but what? Or will that something make itself known? Is trying to jump to a conclusion with what little info we have now too big a risk? Let's proceed on the possibility that we're either missing something or that something will turn up. Thanks for all your effort again. You have my thanks as well, Nokia Shiramine. Oh, oh well, thanks. Uh, Jim, do you have a second? I want to talk to you outside real quick. Okay. She wants to talk outside, huh? Maybe this is also the passion of youth at work. I don't think so. Enough of that. Any progress on the Kamashiro and Nile Corporation case, old man? Don't rush me. I'm in the process of clearing some key obstacles. It's like I always said. Haste makes waste, right? Um, Jim, I just... I will never forgive what those hackers did. To use such an adorable Digimon so selfishly are their puppets, as their slaves. And the Digimon were so miserable, I felt so, so bad for them. When I saw what you were doing, I knew I needed to do something too. Looking in from the sidelines isn't good enough. There must be something I can do to help. I just can't think of anything specific I can do right now. But if I do, you'll be the first to know. Look forward to it. Okay, it's on. I'm going to use the power of my cute bod to the max. Nokia Shiramine, work your stuff. Okay. I got a thousand CSP and we'll save. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of the episode for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to catching you in the next one. But till then, take care. Bye.